Hey guys, I'm Fat Buddy Cat, and this is my custom off-road chopper. Today, we're going to be installing a generic 4-liter gas tank. The dimensions of these are just about perfect for these warrior frames. The petcock for the fuel is even downhill right where we need it. These tanks all seem to come with a little goodie bag. I opted for the basic model. We're going to be after the fuel shutoff these clamps, the cap, and we'll just push that stuff aside for now. It looks like, there we go, there's some tape or something on there from when they painted it out. Uh, It's got a filter built in. Something like that. Alright, I'm going to grab some Teflon and get some on these threads. With the shutoff valve, Completely tightened Teflon on the thread. I have it facing so that it's going to be towards the rear of the bike. It's going to be downhill. I realize that that puts the lever on the inside. This is going to be secondary. We're going to install an inline shutoff valve as well. Over at the bike, if we bring these clamps together, you can see how much space we have between them. This stuff isn't going to cut it. This will. Alright, so these might be slightly overkill. But it's what I had available locally. So we're going to make it happen. I think I got enough washers anyway. Probably going to need some sort of a spacer. Otherwise, these threads are going to have nowhere to go. See what I mean? We run out of room when we hit this lip on the edge of the tank. So, we're going to need something down here to bring the head away from the clamp. And that will take some threads with it. Okay, I think I finally found the winning combination. I grabbed a nut that was just slightly larger. That way it slides on just like a spacer. Then a regular washer and a lock washer. These go on. From the bottom on the top I'm using a nylock nut and a little lock washer let's see how this works out nailed it take a look you can see that we have 
ample amount of thread coming through the top of our nylock nut. We have our lock washer, another lock washer down here, a regular one, our nut spacer, and the bolt. The point is, you're better to slightly overshoot your hardware and then make up for the difference. When you're bringing these clamps together, you're closing a gap here and up here. So, to make it easy on yourself, go a little bit big and figure some of that stuff out. Might as well stick our cap on there so we don't lose it. Wham bam bla jam. If that doesn't scream off road chopper, I don't know what does. We have a small space in the front, but that gives us ample clearance for that top plate for the fork comes back nice under the front of the seat and when you sit on it it feels bad to the bone up next we're going to install the jack shaft and chain. Stay tuned, because as always, it's a work in progress. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.